Hi, this is Jose Gomez, DevOps Solution Architect at Nutanix. In this video, we are going to talk about Azure Resource Manager, how to use your ARM template with Calm Runbooks. Let's get started. Here we are on Prism Central. This is the Calm Marketplace from where you can launch your infrastructure resources, applications, and so on. A new functionality that we get in Calm 3.0 is Calm Runbooks. Now we can deploy more than just infrastructure applications. These elevate your marketplace into IT as a service. Calm Runbooks, you can get on them clicking this icon. And here we have several Runbooks on our Calm instance. Runbooks is about creation of a workflow. Let's just see how it looks like a Runbook. Create runbook. Let's give a name, a project, and let's proceed. This is where we can start to add different tasks. Those tasks are similar to the task that you can get in a blueprint. Here we have more types like while loop and decision. Task can be as an example shell script for Linux machines, ESCript, Python, and PowerShell for Microsoft VMs. This is really powerful because now we can create workflows based on decisions as well as while loops. We are going to use Runbooks to deploy ARM template with Khan. ARM template or Azure Resource Manager is a way to deploy infrastructure, PaaS, and other services into Microsoft Azure Cloud. With Calm, you can do that. It's not only about infrastructure or applications. In Calm, you have available the Azure SDK, Software Development Kit, to use with Python. We have as well AWS SDK. Let's see how we can do that with a runbook. In GitHub, there is a repo where you can find examples. If we go to ESCript, Azure, here we have an example called Azure Launch ARM Template. Let's have a close look to this template. This is just Python, and we are using, in this case, the Azure SDK to launch the ARM template. At the top of this script, we are declaring the variables and this construct, they are calm macros. As you can see, we will need the subscription ID from Azure, client ID, tenant ID, as well as the secret. Then we will provide a resource group name, where is the location that we want for that resource group? What is the ARM template? I'm using an example coming from the Azure repo. We will have a look in a moment to that ARM template. We need a username and password for the operating system because this ARM template is going to create a virtual machine and finally the name of that virtual machine. This is the only part that is relevant for you where we will need to create the macros or variables in Khan. After that, you don't need to do any change on your script. Let's have a close look to this script. This is the way that we import the Azure SDK into our ES script. This is a standard Azure SDK. We get the credentials, passing the subscription ID, as well as the client ID, secret and tenant. And then we use that credential to create or update a resource group. If you have an existing resource group, then we will update it. If you don't have one with the name that you provide during launch, then the resource group will be created and will be used to deploy the virtual machine. Then we have the parameters that we want to configure. They are aligned with the ARM parameters. We will see later on. Finally, you can see that here we are creating the JSON payload and we are using this payload to use this method or function to deploy an ARM template. 
using the resource group, calling that Azure sample, and passing the payload from here. Then we wait to finish the operation, and that's it. The way to use this is just copy this code. You can click on row, copy the entire code, and then paste that code here on the script. As an example, we copy, we paste. This is a ES script. And then we will need to create a variable for each of these ones. They can be created on the configuration pane. Configuration and add variables. We have already this RAM book ready to use. Let's go back and let's see how it looks like the RAM book. So this is the RAM book. And you can see this is the exact same script with the macros that they have been already declared. If we go to configuration and variables, they are here. Now we are ready to launch this RAM book. Execute. Let's give a new name for the resource group. And let's click Execute. This is going to take about one minute and a half. Clicking on the task, we can see the output. This output is going to be really simple because there is not too much print out. Let's move to the Azure portal and let's see how we get the new resource group along with the virtual machine. Let's refresh. We have now here the new resource group called demo. At some point, we will see that the VM finished successfully. Then we have the VM, the disk for that VM, networks, and so on. This ARM template, as I mentioned before, it's coming from the Azure repo on GitHub. Let's have a look. This is the URL. And as you can see, this is a standard ARM template that we are using from the Azure repo. Very simple one. On this way, with Khan, you can deploy not just infrastructure or applications, but you can consume past services, your existing R template, and create more complex blueprints or even IT services tasks. Let's go back to Khan. The runbook has finished successfully. You can see here. And let's have a look to our VM. Our VM is ready. It's running. We have public IP address. And now we could connect via SSH. As you have seen, this is really easy to consume your ARM template in Khan. You just need to import the Azure SDK available in Khan. And then just use standard Azure SDK scripting. I hope this was useful for you. Please, if you have any question, leave your comment down in the video. And keep calm and continue automating. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.